Hey guys and welcome back to a new video and in this video I will show you how to get through the 10th floor of Mystic Town Equator. Yeah I know it's a bit late but this might still help you uh, when we get the rerun for this tower. But anyway uh, let's take a look to the unit setup. We are using Mayfang with a red 6 liter skill and the Winter Scarf which is really important but I will come back to that later. Um, the red 6 liter skill uh, mainly because of me, because I was using Sing Chi's Memento Reader skill as well, and well, so my Sing Chi has more stats, but I I really don't know uh, if it's required or not. I didn't test it that much with another setup than Leava. Uh, yeah, we are using her for wheel and healing, and. As professor, yeah, just like I said, for real, because uh, the gold machine can inflict stun to our units, and to avoid it, we're using the other. Then Sing Chi, yeah. I'm using Eliza Leader skill because uh, Mei Fang uh, still benefits from the leader skill. I mean, Sing Chi gives uh, area attack plus 20% and slash tag power plus 40% but my doesn't uh, it, it doesn't really apply to Mayfang or to the other units uh, so uh, we wanted to use a license leader skill because it's the only other uh, global leader skill that I have and yeah we are using Eliza and we are using Chronos Drive which is also important yeah, the, uh, I, j I must say it now, uh, it's easy to mess up the thread. Yeah, I, I have to admit that it's easy to mess up that thread because of CT and agility. So you have to test it by yourself. If it, fit, if it fits or not. Um, yeah, Cannonova, uh, Moonstar Armor for HP recovery, uh, Chronos Drive, which is also important, and a gear that gives poison rest plus 70, which is important unless you like anti based things. Um, I'm using Kalanova with a rune that gives healing plus 15 and poison rest plus 40. Uh, I mean 14, not 40. Um, yeah, status protection rune. Runes, two of them. Uh, to get st uh, status protection rest plus 10, which means we have Kalanova here with 86 poison rest. It still requires some RNG, but well, we, we tested it with a uh, with, uh, bad HP rune and with 100 poison rest, but it never worked. So we are using that setup and then it worked. Then Mayfang in the sub, uh, nothing special, uh, yeah, nothing special at all. Um, yeah, the quest starts. Okay, Zheng Chi uses Chrono in first turn. They are, uh, I mean, the Gold Machine uses this good that gives guts to all robots, and there's a gimmick. Uh, you need to attack. Uh, all the robots here with a different type of uh, attack, yeah, like strike, pierce, missile, and whatever, to make them stun, which is important. Um, if the gold machine is still alive and uh, you are going to trigger the guts from one of the other robots once, then he will use a cover sheet and then you can literally restart again. Um, yeah. So, whatever. Gold Machine comes closer to us. Uh, with Kenova, we, we are standing in the right corner. So, uh, we can bait the red and the green robot to him. The only most. Uh, yeah, the. Most dangerous enemies here are clearly the pink machine and the golden machine. But the pink machine can heal all of the enemies, I mean all of the robots, 
on the map, which is really bad for us. So we need to work with Zeng Chi and Mei Feng to stun them and to use CT down with Zeng Chi. This is the main strat. We are using a slash attack or a normal hit with Kenanova to stun the red uh, Robert. Normal attack with Mei Feng to get jewels. Normal attack with Zeng Chi again to get jewels. Yeah, he is using the stun shot now. But because of Liava, we are not stunned. And Liava, Venom Potion to stun the Golden Machine. Oh yeah, what I forgot to say is that uh, they are also lowering their all death uh, as long as they are stunned. Also, the go uh, uh, the green machine makes ridiculous damage, but it's good. Okay, here I uh, uh, slightly uh, swap positions with him, so I can see T down with Sing Chi all of the robots here, and that's why we need the winter scarf here. And yeah, just like I said, the green robot is a bit dangerous uh, because it inflicts high damage to Kenanova. But since we are using a healing rune, I mean a rune with healing plus 15, it it makes him almost it makes it almost impossible for him to die, which is really nice. We were always struggling with Kenanova. Whatever, Stargazer on the Alpha and Tseng Chi, so Tseng Chi doesn't die. We need to keep him alive for the CT down skill. Uh, with Canova I just wanted to be safe and use the fire and wind rest skill, which is really nice because both of them are fire and wind. With Mei Fang we are using a funeral pump to inflict some damage, then with Tseng Chi, CT down. And now the last time that we can use the CT down skill. Then with Kenanova, um, normal attack to stun the red machine again. And with Sing G. Normal hit. And with Mei Feng, we are going to trigger Gold Machine Scuds. By the way, even when he's stunned, he can st he can he's still able to use the cover skill. But just like I said. He's only going to use that one uh, when we are going to trigger guts from one of the other robots. So yeah, just like I said, we need to kill him first. But now he's dead, so one of the biggest threats is gun. So only the pink machine is the last problem here and the rest is easy peasy. Uh, Tank Chi, normal hit to get shoes in case we need them. No, we need we didn't need them, but just to be safe. Funeral palm to sun him. Get it over, normal attack to red machine. With Tank G we are uh, skipping the turn. Then we are skipping the turn once again. So we are in the turn list before the pink machine isn't stunned anymore. So we are able to kill the pink machine in the perfect frame. Mei Feng is going to trigger guts and then Sing Chi is going to kill it. Oh yeah, right. Uh, my thing needs to run away from the light robot, 
So uh, we, we need to bait the light robot to attack Sing Chi because we don't need him anymore. We want Mei Feng to spawn just to be safe. I was just using Death Addict to hit him a bit lower, which is not really that needed, but whatever. Normal uh, attack to Red Machine again. Okay, it's saying she is dead, just like we planned. Now we get some tools with Mei Fang, with both Mei Fangs, I mean. Also we had some luck with Dan Chi here, because we didn't get poison. I mean we had a high poison res of 86, just like I said. But, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure not everyone will be that lucky. I mean if you can do it with uh, poison res plus 100, then it's fine, but we weren't able to do that. So, we needed... A good HP rune, like a hundred, uh, eight hundred HP rune. And then we were able to tank everything from the robots. We were, uh, we were able to survive with Katanova a, a few turns more. No wait, never mind. We survived with him at the end. We survived everything with him. Uh, in the other runs, we weren't able to survive with him that long. He all, he every uh, he died every time at the end. And then we had to use Mei Fang, but it never worked with Mei Fang. So yeah, we may so yeah, I made Killen over Tankia. So he can tank everything and he won't be able to die. Okay, the robots are in a really low range. They are almost dead in a few turns. We are stunning the Fire robot again. With Mayfang, we are going to stun the uh, light robot. By the way, in the description, uh, you will find uh, a list with robots uh, uh, which from which type uh, attack. Oh god, my English sucks. I mean, which attack type you need to inflict stun to uh, every robot. Also, um, in case you're going to kill one of the last three robots, then the other two ones are getting huge buffs and they will go crazy on your units. Also, they are going uh, to be... No wait, they have a 100% dodge chance against their attack type that they are, uh, that, that, that was able to stun them. God, my English sucks. But I think you know what I mean. Okay, um, fire and wind rest skill, just be prepared because they will go crazy on Kilanova in a few turns. And yeah, with Mayfang, you're most likely doing nothing or just a normal attack. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I'm sorry for that. A funeral palm to trigger uh, his guts. Uh, with Liava, we are healing just to be safe. And now, are we already going? No. One more turn and then uh, the guts got triggered once. Normal hit, La the last normal hit, and then we, we are almost done with the quest. Uh, skipping turns with Mayfang, and now we we triggered guts from the uh, of the wind guy. All right, why I'm calling that the robot the guy? Well, whatever. 
Okay, with Mayfang skipping turns until we triggered God of all of the robots here, which uh, which happened now, and now we can uh, kill all of them. But we are waiting. We want the wind robot to attack Kedanova. Because there are just two uh, enemies uh, around Kalanova and ah, it's a bit harder to win with only one unit against one robot. I mean against two robots in this case. And the biggest threats are gone. And no wait, never mind, the quest is, uh, is over. <laughs> yeah, and the quest was a nightmare. Uh, I uh, seriously, I never spent that much time in a quest like that. I spent like, I spent like eight hours in total. But anyway, I hope, I hope this video helps you. Even though it's a whale setup, like Kedanova, uh, not Kedanova, uh, Zheng Chi, uh, Maximum Break with Memento, and Eliza Maximum Break with Memento, and Red Six Maximum Break with Memento. I don't think, just like I said, I don't think that Red Six is important here. But anyway, I hope you had fun. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.